In April 1986, a severe accident in an RBMK nuclear reactor at Chernobyl power station in the Ukraine released radioactive elements over a wide area. It was the worst accident in the history of nuclear power. People all over the world asked the same question, could it happen again? The causes of the Chernobyl accident have now been established. Violations of operating procedures by the control room staff and design weaknesses in the RBMK reactor. It can be stated categorically that a similar accident could not happen in the pressurized water reactors at Dyer Bay. In a test which was intended to improve safety, the operators allowed the power output of the Chernobyl reactor to fall below permitted operating levels. The reactor operation became unstable and potentially dangerous. Prompt corrective action by skilled operators would have prevented these difficulties, but the operators at Chernobyl were inadequately trained. They ignored safety regulations and showed a lack of understanding of the reactor behavior. When trying to bring the power back up by increasing fission, too many control rods were either removed or withdrawn too far. There followed an uncontrollable power surge, two violent steam explosions and an outbreak of fire which destroyed the building housing the reactor, exposing radioactive material and the release of large quantities of radioactivity into the atmosphere. The RBMK reactors at Chernobyl are most unusual and are found only in the Commonwealth of Independent States. Their inherent design defects could never have passed the stringent safety requirements of Dyer Bay Power Station, where the reactors are pressurized water reactors, or PWRs, which are used by more than 60% of all the commercial reactor units in operation. The first main difference between the two types of reactor is that the RBMK becomes unstable at low power levels. The PWR is stable at all power levels and its safety systems automatically shut it down in case of operator error. Secondly, in the RBMK reactor, the rods have to be mechanically lowered into the core, and this takes more than 15 seconds, whereas the control rods in the PWR can be lowered into the reactor core very rapidly. In an emergency, they can drop into the reactor by gravity in less than two seconds and stop the fission process, so shutting down the reactor. Thirdly, in a PWR, the moderator, used to slow down neutrons, is the pressurized water which surrounds the fuel rods and assists the chain reaction. In the RBMK, the moderator is graphite. Water can't burn. Graphite can, and at Chernobyl, it did. Fourthly, in a PWR, the steel-lined reinforced concrete containment building completely encloses the reactor to prevent the release of radioactive materials. This was proved at the Three Mile Island nuclear power station in the USA, where a leak of radioactivity in the containment building had no environmental impact. This total containment was absent at the Chernobyl power station and it is unlikely that any more stations of the Chernobyl design will ever be built. The PWRs at Dyer Bay are of French design and manufacture, installed under the supervision of Electricité de France. France is one of the world's most experienced countries in the operation of nuclear power stations. French expertise is present at all stages of design, construction and operation at Dyer Bay. The Dyer Bay operators have had five years strict training by French instructors. They have had hands-on experience in French nuclear power stations, working to the highest standards of international practice. The International Atomic Energy Agency's review of international nuclear safety standards, which began after Chernobyl, proposed further measures to ensure that station operators worldwide be trained to the highest level of competence and that safety consciousness be the prime ingredient in all aspects of nuclear power station operation. These are the guidelines at Dyer Bay Power Station.